Members of the board, Mr. McCord, administrators, faculty and staff, Saint, uh, sorry, by parents, families, and friends of St. Mary's High School, and last but certainly not least, St. Mary's High School's graduating class of 2010. It is a distinct honor and privilege for us to be with you this morning and to offer these short remarks on such a monumental occasion. Thank you for inviting us to share in this very special day with you. You may have noticed our approach is a bit unorthodox in the way of valedictorian speeches. No, we are not co-valedictorians, but we decided that after sharing four years of intense academics, rigorous athletics, and many memories, this speech would have a much greater impact given together. Just if you're wondering, we're also attending the same college. <laughs> <laughs> when we first began to draft this speech, we considered three essential themes that have impacted us throughout our four years at St. Mary's. Integrity, scholarship, and service. These three words are the basis of the most incredibly boring speeches ever written. <laughs> Therefore, we sat at the computer for hours trying to write a funny speech, and then realized we're only funny to each other. <laughs> so please just bear with us, and a round of applause at the end would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> to begin with, we would like to thank our parents, siblings, relatives, and friends for always being there. Our teachers and administrators for always being there. The motor cops strategically placed along circle for always being there. <laughs> Dr. James's not so funny jokes and Mr. Lapino's push-ups in the hallway for always being there. <laughs> and finally, those watchful dance chaperones. <laughs> Our freshman class comprised of 98 budding 14 and 15 year olds, all eager to learn. Now, as seniors, we will leave St. Mary's as a group of 83 young adults ready for whatever life has to offer us. We sit united here today, having grown together as a class and also as individuals after the trials and triumphs of high school. While we reminisce on the past and the memories we've made, we also look forward to a brighter future. As our senior class so aptly describes, our senior class quote, excuse me. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. You are the one who will decide where to go. First, let us look back on high school. While we have discovered atomic structures in chemistry, dissected cats in anatomy, derived equations in pre-calculus, and drafted endless essays in English, we perhaps remember theology the most fondly from its eccentric teachers, and valuable messages. In freshman year, Mr. Dolan introduced us to heathen idols and his own idol, Elvis Presley. <laughs> As sophomores, Mr. Murphy warned us of the things that could send us all to hell, including our music, our relationships, and our tendency to buy everything in sight. <laughs> During junior year, Mr. Dolan relentlessly sang his infamous Fruits of the Spirit song, and juvenilely told stories of Kelsey's child growing antics and Matthew's closet. Finally, in senior year, Mr. Champion informed us that yes, there is a cure for senioritis. More work. <laughs> <laughs> but despite heavy workloads, we grudgingly learned to appreciate Champ's classes since he actually treated us like adults and allowed us to form our own opinions. Although we will always hold these fun memories in our hearts, we will also take away beliefs that will strengthen us for the rest of our lives. Our class, in which you can have above a 4.0 and still be ranked number 20, has worked so hard these past four years to go above and beyond what any other class has achieved. So now, as we look to the future, we challenge you to stay strong in the years to come, to keep working hard, and to remember to stay in touch. Everyone sitting amidst us today is extremely proud and hopes we will succeed in all of our endeavors. This would be the most opportune time to ask for money. <laughs> so, because we are undiscovered comedians, beautiful people, and role models for young children everywhere, we thought it would be appropriate, since we did both participate in the musical this year, to end this speech with a song. <laughs> Class of 2010, we're not going to write you a love song.
because you asked for it, because you need one. You see, woke up in the morning feeling like he did. <laughs> Got my glasses. Went out the door, ready to enter a whole new world. <laughs> a new fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no, or where to go, or say we're only dreaming. Because you'll never know if you don't go. Hey! You'll never shine if you don't glow. But for high school, it's too late. Our time has come. Send shivers down our spines. Bodies again all the time. Goodbye, everybody. We've got to go. Gotta leave you all behind and face the truth. That it's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. And we hope you had the time of your life. So even if rain drops